I was gonna take a shower before I did this, but I didn't, so this is what you get. <laughs> um, it is time for July, July, oh my god, July's round of Jigsaw TBR. So my name is Lizzie, if you've never seen a video of mine before, and every month I do this thing where I let a jigsaw puzzle pick what I'm going to read for the month. And the first thing we do in these videos is I tell you how the previous month went. Now, it is only June 20, June 20th, so there's 10 days left in the month. And I'm filming this super early because I'm going out of town and I don't want to have to film it later. Um, and I want to have my TBR set pretty early this month. Um, so that being said, I haven't finished my TBR, however, I'm going to. Um, my TBR last month was only four books plus one rollover from May, and of those I've read or DNF'd um, three of them, and two of them, the ones I haven't read are Middle Game, which I'm going to listen to on my road trip on Wednesday, and The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, which I've started, um, and I'll definitely finish it before the month is up. So we are calling this month a win. Um, and that means we got a reward, and I didn't think about that, so I did not grab a coin. Let me do that. Clementine, did you steal my die? Because I know I have one right there, and it's not there. Okay, I'm back. I got a coin to flip. So here's what how the game works. Let me just tell you how it works first. Um, I'll show you my all my supplies. I have this board, which I actually think goes this way up this month. Um, and these little circles are prompts. I have more prompts to fill up the board. And then I do my puzzle. Oh no, that's not how it works. <laughs> I fill up the board, then I roll a die. And it's a six-sided die. I don't have the one that was really pretty that we used last month. I think Clementine stole it. So we have this one, which is just purple, but that's fine. We roll the die. 1 through 6, take that number times 10 plus 20, that's the amount of time I have to do my puzzle. I'll show you my puzzles. I have these Disney 500 piece puzzles. Um, I think today we're going to do the Dumbo one. Um, and I do my puzzle for that amount of minutes, whatever is not covered, whatever prompts are not covered by the puzzle when the timer goes off, those are the prompts I have to fill with books. Now, what happens if I get a reward? I get a reward, I flip a coin, we have a penny here, and I either can, can roll the die twice and pick whichever number I prefer, or I get to double up two prompts with one book. Um, and I'm gonna say heads is roll twice, tails is double up, so we're gonna flip right now. I'm ah, not knocked you. We're gonna flip. It is tails. So I get to double up on two prompts. Two prompts can be filled by one book um, when I am going to choose my books. So that's my reward. Let's just get into it. Um, I don't think there's anything else I need to tell you. I told you the rules. I told you how I did last month. Let's just go and we'll see how many minutes I have. Whose phone is buzzing? It's not mine. Maybe it is mine. Ah, I'm having a hard time rolling this die. It's a one. Let me just show you. It's a one. So we are going to need our double up reward because I only get 30 minutes um, to do my puzzle, which is the minimum amount of time I can get. So let's go. Here's how it works. I put the prompts on the board, then I do the edge, um, and then I start the timer. I'll get 30 minutes, and then I'll pick some books for you, or for me. They're not for you. You get to see me pick books for me to read in the month of July, which I didn't tell you. Um, July is going to be kind of a busy month for me, so it doesn't bode well that I got a one, um, because I'm going back to school. I'm starting grad school in July at the beginning of July and then I'm in school the whole month um, and I have like classes every single day and it's like an intensive summer semester so gonna be kind of crazy um, but let's go for it let's see what books I'm gonna read let's do my puzzle
this did not go great. <laughs> um, I mean, I only had 30 minutes, so we kind of knew, but um, I didn't get very much done for 30 minutes. Um, so I'm gonna call this one covered, this one covered, this one covered, this one covered, and this one covered. I think the rest, I'm like, mm, maybe this one. <laughs> I'll see how, I'll see. I do get a double up, so that's good. Um, but we need, we have at least, we have one, two, three, four, five. This is not, I don't know where that is. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do I say 11? No, because I did this Dumbo bit and I want to get credit for that. So we're going to say this one's covered, even though that's maybe kind of cheating. Because, you know, I don't know. We're just going to do 10 prompts. Um, maybe I, I feel bad. I should do this one too. I'm going to do that one too. I do get a double up, so it'll only be 10 books, just 11 prompts. 11 prompts. Okay, let's go. Um, starting with this one. Oh no, intimidating. So, starting off strong. <laughs> this is going to be a scary month. For intimidating, I didn't want to go with something that's intimidating because it's long, because I have a lot of long books on this TBR, as you'll see, and it's a long TBR, it's 10 books long, and it's going to be a busy month. So what's short and intimidating? A classic that I actually own, I got this at a thrift store for $1. Um, this is Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf. It is intimidating because it's a classic, um, and I don't know that's like basically it. I don't really know anything about it um but it's Virginia Woolf the text is like kind of it's not that small but it's short so um it should be fine supernatural creatures for supernatural creatures, I'm not exactly sure what kind or like what supernatural creatures this book has, but I'm pretty, it's tagged as paranormal on Goodreads. So I'm pretty sure it has some supernatural creatures and just has that vibe. And that is The Book of Living Secrets by Madeline Rue. Um, this, I put a hold on the ebook. It is about like people who go inside a book, but it's like all, it's like horror-y. Um, it seems really good. I'm excited about it. For mystery, I'm going to read The Appeal by Janice Hallett, which everyone was talking about a while ago, um, and I finally got my hands on a hold of the... Actually, I borrowed it. It was all ready to borrow on ebook. Um, and yeah, this is a mystery. I think you kind of... It's sort of mixed media, and you kind of figure it out as you go. It's like... I think it's like grad students or like interns or like someone trying to figure out this mystery and you're trying to figure it out with them. Twenty two in twenty twenty two. For so twenty two in twenty twenty two is my list that I made at the beginning of the year in my journal. Twenty two in twenty twenty two. Twenty two books to read in 2022. I've read some of them as you can see. Um, and the one off this list that I decided to go for, I actually combined, I'm using my double up to combine with the next prompt, which is fairy tale retelling. I paused like this for a really long time, even though I don't have to actually pause while I'm playing the clip. Anyway, fairy tale retelling. I'm gonna do, there's one fairy tale retelling on this list and that is The Bear and the Nightingale by, uh, who's it by? Catherine Arden. Um, this is inspired by a Russian fairy tale. I don't know exactly like what the fairy tale is, but I know it's like, it's described as a fairy tale and not folklore. So I felt like um, Russian fairy tale that works. Um, this, I don't know what it's about, but it's Russian inspired and it has mixed reviews. Some people like it, some people don't. It's like a fantasy, winter, polar fantasy type thing. Red cover. 
For red cover, I'm going with The Locked Door by Freya McFadden, um, which I have a hold on the audiobook. Um, this, I don't really know what it's about, but it's the pick for the official unofficial book club for the late night crew, um, which I haven't joined in with yet, but I love them. So I, I wanted to join in this month and, um, yeah, this cover is mostly red, so I don't really know what it's about. It's about, it's a thriller. I don't think it's a horror. I think it's a thriller, um, about a locked door, I guess. randomize so here's how we're going to do randomize i have 240 books on my storygraph tbr um, and that's actually i think not including the three that i have on my up next that i'm going to read this month um so we're going to randomize i'm going to generate a number between one and 240 i think i'm going to have to count because there's no like numbers on the list um unless i'm looking in the wrong place and next time like you can leave a comment of a way to do this better but right now i'm going to generate a number between one and 240 we're going to see what book that is and then we're going to check if it's available at the library because if it's not um we're like will be available within a couple weeks if it's not then we have to generate a new number so that's how we're going to do this Let's get our first number. Hopefully I don't have to count too high. Min 1, max 240, generate 10. Wait, did you really? Yeah, 10. Okay, <laughs> I was like, maybe it, they didn't realize that my max was 240, but I think they did. So yes, 10. Um, that's good. I don't have to count very high. Hopefully I won't have to do this again. So number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten is Read Between the Lines by Rachel Lacey, which I think is a sapphic romance. It's a 2021 release, so we'll see whether it's available at the library. Okay, it's not available on Libby at any of the three libraries that I have cards at, but the physical book is available um, at my new local library. So um, I'll have to remember to, I have to probably put a hold like a transfer because it's, it's like a big library system and it's not at my closest library, but it's at um, a, a couple nearby ones. So um, yeah, Read Between the Lines by Rachel Lacey. That's what we're reading. I think it's a sapphic romance. That's all I know about it, so. Person on the cover. For person on the cover, I'm going with I Kissed Shara Wheeler by Casey McQuiston, who is the author of um, One Last Stop and Red, White, and Royal Blue, both of which I really enjoyed. Um, this book, I have a hold on the ebook. I think it's like... Um, someone described it as Paper Towns vibes, where, like, um, these several different people all independently, like, on their own, of course, kiss Shara Wheeler, this late girl, this girl, I think it's there in high school or something, and then she goes missing. So all of these people are, like, getting together to try to find her, and they all have this connection to her in that they kissed at one point. So that seems fun. Um, I think I've, I can't remember. I know a lot of people have said they're reading it, but I can't remember what the consensus is, but I think it's okay, at least. Um, we'll see. Poetry. For poetry, I'm going to read Call Us What We Carry by Amanda Gorman, um, which I own physically because... Um, my parents gave this to my girlfriend for Christmas and I have been meaning to read it because um, I haven't read it and it's a perfect time to read it. So um, it's poetry, book of poetry. Um, if you don't remember, Amanda Gorman delivered, did a speech at Biden's inauguration. Um, so yeah, um, this is what I'm reading for poetry. It's poetry. mythology retelling 
For mythology retelling, I'm reading Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Su Lin Tan, which I will hold on the audiobook. Um, this, I think, is inspired by Chinese mythology. So that like it came up when I googled mythology retellings because I didn't really know where to go with this. Um, I've heard really good things about it. It's a gorgeous cover. Um, I don't really know what it's about, but um, I'm looking forward to it. And book club pick. And lastly, for book club pick, we're going with Gallant by V.E. Schwab, which is the Patreon buddy read or like book club pick basically for Chloe's, I was about to say Chloe's Crime Scene Corner. It's not that. It's Chloe's other thing. Her Chloe reads books. Um, her Patreon buddy read is reading Gallant by V.E. Schwab, which is, um, I've heard so many people describe it, so I should be able to describe it to you. It's like a, it's a middle grade YA-ish um, it's like unclear whether it's classed as middle grade or YA, um, but it's about a girl who is like called home to this, to Gallant, which is like her family's manor or something, but she's also told don't go to Gallant. So it's like conflicting things. There's like spooky stuff going on there. Old house. Seems fun. Um, and that, I feel like we went through those very fast. That is my 10 books filling 11 prompts. I forgot to calculate how many pages it is, so let me do that real quick and I will get back to you. So this TBR is 3,372 pages in total, which comes out to 108.8 .8 pages per day, which is a lot. <laughs> um, uh, but actually that's less than my normal average per day for the last couple months, um, but again, july is going to be busier than the last couple months have been clementine don't get on my computer please um uh now i lost my train of thought um because clementine is trying to climb all over my things um yeah it's actually lower than my average per day but i'm going to be reading stuff for school because i'm back in school and um all that so I don't know. It's a lot of books. We'll see. Um, and of course, I always end up reading lots of books that are not on my TBR anyway. So um, there's that too. Now Clementine's going to shake the camera because she's going on the table. Isn't that nice of her? Um, she's lovely. I think she got in the shot a little bit while I was doing my puzzle. Um, but yeah, that is, oh, readathons. I'm not really doing, well, there's one readathon that I might participate in in July. I usually do this at the beginning of the video, but I forgot. Um, and that is Questathon, hosted by Sahar at basically Bookish Reads. And I think that's her channel name. I'm pretty sure her name is Sahar, and I think her channel's basically Bookish Reads. If not, it'll be in the description. Um, sorry for the shaking camera. It is Clementine's fault. Let me get her off. She does not want to get off the table and I don't feel like pushing her. That seems rude. Um, so you're just going to have to deal. Um, what are you, you're throwing my prompts. Oh. Clementine. <laughs> she hated that. But you got to say hi to the camera. If you're going to shake the camera and disrupt the video, you got to say hi. Okay, you can go. Um, don't go back on the table though. This is getting derailed. Um, Questathon, hosted by Sahar, basically Bookish Reads, is a readathon that I was really interested in, but I didn't want to commit unless I knew I could do it. Because the thing is, there's this like quest. Clementine's stealing the die that I used earlier. Um, it'll never be seen again. Um, <laughs> she likes to steal small things. She's very cute uh, and annoying. Um, are, is she messing up my puzzle? Oh, Clementine, Clementine, away from the puzzle. She better not mess up. My Clementine, don't play soccer on my puzzle. I may not get to finish this puzzle just because she just messed it up, but whatever. Everything's fine. Um, what was I even saying? I was talking about Questathon. Oh my gosh. Is it? Oh, sorry. I thought it wasn't recording for a second. Clementine's messing up the puzzle even more because she's playing soccer with the die um, all over the puzzle. Focus. Questathon. The, um, like, premise of questathon is that there's this quest and you like have to go through and read like certain prompts in a certain order to like fulfill these it's really cool it's a really cool readathon um and you're on a team and the team that wins is the one with the highest proportion of like team members who finish the quest so i was thinking 
I'll wait until I do my TBR and then I'll look at the prompts and see if I can reasonably finish the quest, in which case I'll participate. But if I don't think I can do it, I'm not even going to sign up because I don't want to like drag the team down, you know? Um, so I'll, I'll probably put it in the description whether I decided to participate, but um, I'll, I mean, I'll put the announcement video in the description anyway, in case you're interested, but um, it requires like, I can't remember how many books it requires. It's definitely fewer than this, but it's like, I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to go through that maybe now and um, see if it's doable with the TBR that I have and the order that they're going to come in from the library and stuff like that because you have to read things in a specific order, read the prompts in a specific order. So um, yes, all that being said, that's my July TBR. Happy July. Um, and yeah, um, I do this every month. So there's the playlist will be linked in the description. I started in I started in February. So there's this is the sixth round and um, the playlist will be down below and you can subscribe so you can see next month um, and like the video and comment down below something about something. OK, I'm going to take a shower now because I didn't at the beginning of the video or before the, I started filming. OK, bye.